Today's video is going to be on the 6.5 millimeter .264 Federal Premium Terminal Ascent Bullets, 130 grain. These are something submoashooting.com uh, doesn't have in yet, but they are going to start carrying. So check them out for sample packs to save yourself some money in load development. Uh, first shot is going to be a reduced load simulating long range. And the second shot will be my full load shot out of a 6.5 Kareed Moore. And that was definitely too slow. As you can see by the wound channel it created there and the angle of it. The tip came off, but that bullet definitely just tumbled. So we will shoot one loaded up a little bit higher. That one was traveling at 1,296 feet per second. So 1,300 feet per second, definitely too slow. That wound channel looks about the same, and that's all it did. And we are at 1,634. So 1,600 feet per second still isn't fast enough. Try another one. Load it a little bit hotter here. See anything? Definitely got a little bit more of a permanent wound cavity, but 
feel that bullet in there. These my old blocks that are getting kind of dark. I don't, I don't see it in there, but it didn't come out the back. I definitely won't come in a poke into there. But that one definitely performed, but still not great. Not what I was hoping for. I don't even think I'm going to flip these around for that high velocity mode because all my that bolt really didn't start opening up until about here. The room channels from here to about here. But it's, it's got to be in this block somewhere. I just can't see it. here. We're coming in and you got your blue tip sitting at five and a half inches but it doesn't really look like that bolt starts up at almost an inch. Then you got that decent permanent wound cavity running from the eight inch mark to just past the 20 inch mark pin line and I don't see where it is for sure in that second block but uh, you know, I'd like to see them open up a little quicker than that that's definitely dumping the energy right in the middle of a chest cavity of something like an elk or a small white tail or a antelope that potentially could blow through so I honestly am not happy with that performance the larger portion of that permanent wound cavity on that last shot is two inches by an inch and seven eighths carrying in that section for pin lines. So let's go ahead and throw a high velocity load of this. I'll show you what velocity the last one was at too. Mind you, there's enough bullets in the market that perform well down to 1300 feet per second and 1769. So, over 17, just under 18 is still a little on the low side for these. So, I don't believe it's something I'm going to start shooting at anything for any reason. But we'll go ahead and a high velocity load here and see what happens. Definitely did some damage. Take that camera around to the other side where you can see where that bullet's resting. That one was traveling 2,874 feet per second. There's where it rests. beautiful mushroom but so far granted they don't have a lot in the 6.5 millimeter but so far with their other bullets the uh, trophy bonded tips and the TLRs definitely getting away with uh, less velocity and still performing so um, I really like their other line of bullets but I don't think I'm a fan of these that's just uh, 
I mean, it held together good at high velocity, which I like to see, but the low velocity simulated long range, um, I'm definitely uh, not overly happy with that. I think you're going to have to make sure you stay at over 2,000 feet per second. And with as many bullets out there on the market that perform every bit as good as these on the high end, that low end, it's something I personally won't use. I'll go ahead and go over these measurements quick just because I'm not going to do my second video on these bolts. I don't see where my little block flew off to. But we're still looking at that opening up at about the uh, inch and an eighth. Get that explosive wound channel carrying to a 14 inch mark. And then pin lining with that leading edge at 28 and a half inches. That good portion of that permit wound cavity is from the three inch mark to the seven and a half inch mark. Three and an eighth. So, not terrible performance, but not great performance, and definitely not what I was expecting. So, hope you guys enjoy the video.